What can I do for you? Why look at you all dressed up in your costume already. You look like you're ready to trick and treat a day early. No, silly, it's only the thirtieth. I. Oh, oh! Halloween is today, isn't it? How did I not realize it? I've been looking forward to this Halloween so much. I can't imagine how I lost track. Just so busy, I suppose. Are your parents alright with you trick or treating on your own? I did hear that this is a very safe neighborhood. Hmm. Well, that leaves us in quite a pickle, doesn't it? I was gonna make candy apples, but I don't have any of them ready because I thought I had until tomorrow. Well, it's very early in the night. Why don't you come back later? I have the first one ready very soon for you, and you can have it then. Oh, well, I don't know. You probably shouldn't ask to come inside the house if someone you've never met. I do know your parents, though. They're very kind neighbors. I suppose it wouldn't hurt in this case, if you really want to. All right, you can come in and watch me make the apples. I'm surprised you feel so comfortable coming into my house. Does it not bother you that I'm not human? The neighbors' children all seem to be scared to use the sidewalk in front of my house. Um, yes, basically, boogeyman or boogie woman is what humans call my kind. But actually, our real name is Bagaboo. I like that more. You can call me whatever you like. <laughs> Bugaboo probably starts to sound a little silly to you. English isn't my first language, so a lot of your words sound silly to me too. Okay, let me get started on the apples. I already stuck the sticks in them, I just need to melt the chocolate and sugar. I like to give them my candy shell and drizzle chocolate over them. It's absolutely delicious. <laughs> oh, you look excited. Well, you should be. I really give all, I give it my all in every Halloween. And you'll be the first in this neighborhood to try my signature treat. I just love this holiday. Oh, so, why don't you tell me about your costume? Oh, why, of course. I can tell. It's very cute. Uh, oh, of course. I meant very scary. Did your parents buy it or make it? You must be so excited to show it to everyone in the neighborhood. They've all been so kind and welcoming to me since I moved here, so I'm sure they'll have lots of nice compliments for you. Come to think of it, exactly how old are you? Your parents never told me. Well, you're quite old already. And you even look older than that. You must be very mature for your age. I'm very glad you convinced me to let you stay and talk. Bugaboos don't exactly have the best reputation with children. People always used to tell children nasty stories of how we'll snatch up naughty children and gobble them up. We don't. 
Of course, but some people still spread rumours that we do. If so, it feels nice. Nice to be trusted. We're still new to modern society, so we're trying to fit in. I understand it, of course. I'm not bitter. Change takes time, and after all, but it's encouraging to meet someone who treats you just like anyone else. Well, that's a very grown-up question. Yes, the place I come from is very different. Bugaboos tend to live a life in places that humans don't. We have our own traditions and our own way of living, too. The reason I like Halloween so much is because it reminds me of holidays back at home. We love costumes and our celebrations. And who doesn't love sweets? <laughs> it's also nice that this time of year, people like things that are spooky. I feel a little more welcome when October comes around. That's why I want to put on a lot of effort right now. If I can make a good impression right now where everyone is feeling more accepting of someone like me, it can improve their opinion of me. That improved opinion will last long after the season that ends. Your parents have been helping me a lot on this front too. They were the first people to visit me, and I hear they've been saying very nice things about me to other other neighbors. You're very lucky to be raised by such kind people. Hmm, perhaps you'd be willing to follow their footsteps? It would mean the world to me if you could tell the neighborhood children I'm a kind person. It's not as if I need them to stop by for tea or anything, but I do wish that they wouldn't waste the effort to cross the street when they get near my house. I hate to see them go to such lengths when they don't need to. Oh, but you might need to be careful what you say. I don't want you to get teased because you visited the local creepy house. You don't need to go into too much trouble for me. Just watch for a good opportunity to say something nice about me if you can, that's all. Ah, the sugar coating and chocolate are ready. Let me just dip it in the sugar syrup. Blow it to cold. And now drizzle the chocolate. And I like to sprinkle some cinnamon baked chopped nuts on top. Delicious. And there you are. Your candy apple. You might want to wait until it cools down before you eat. It'll take a while. It'll be nice having some snack while, while you walk. I bet. Now, I'm sure you have a lot of houses to visit. Your costume is going to be so cute, uh, scary that everyone is going to give you lots of candy. I just know it. Good luck and happy Halloween. What are you guys' Halloween costumes? Because I'm gonna feed on to everyone's obsession with um ghost face. <laughs>